Let me start with a story. In Mahabharat, only Arjun, Dronacharya, and Shri Krishna knew how to break Chakravyu. That was a form of war. Arjun knew it, and Arjun was telling his wife how you can break the Chakravyu. When he was telling this story and this trick of Chakravyu, Subhadra was carrying Avimanyu in her womb. Subhadra, while listening to this story, she fell asleep and she could not listen the last step of how to break the Chakravyu. And that is the reason why Avimanyu actually fought well but could not complete the last leg of Chakravyu. Friends, Avimanyu learned this skill just by listening while he was in the womb of his mother. So you know how important and how impactful listening can be. If you listen well, you can learn things very fast. Listening is the very first skill which you develop even when you are not born, when you are in the womb of your mother. You can listen, you can identify sounds and that is something which no one teaches you. If you are coming for the first time to my channel, please like, share and subscribe. So friends, today's topic is listening. This is one of the art of communication, which is very important. I can tell you for the fact, 60% of the communication is just listening. Rest of the communication is just 40%, which is speaking, reading and writing. 75% of your learning is through listening. And I can tell you for the fact, even people who are blind, they can learn just by listening. And that is why I'm going to talk about how you can be a very good listener. What are the barriers which are making you a bad listeners and how you can improve on those. Let's talk about it and learn how to listen good way. Once Lord Buddha said, if you are talking, you are not learning. That means if you are not keeping your mouth shut, you cannot learn new things. What that means is you have to be a very good listener to learn new things. Friends, this is why we have to understand what are the barriers which are stopping us to become a good listener. Let's talk about those barriers and understand how they are playing a very important role in our personality, making us a bad listener. The very first barrier is culture. Our culture is something which is imbibed on us and stop us to listen something which is happening around us. Next is our language. We know we speak one language. That is why we are not able to listen what someone else is talking in other languages. Even the sounds which they are making. They might be telling something very interesting, but we don't bother to listen. Next two things are intention and expectation. If you don't have an intent to listen, you will not be listening, irrespective of how important thing someone is telling. Like I'm going to tell you something very miraculous, very magical, but until unless you have an intent to listen to me, you will not focus, you will not pay attention what I'm going to talk about. And second is expectation. If you have different expectation and someone is talking something different, let's say you open this video and you are here to learn something new and just communication might be speaking, but this topic is all about listening. If I am not meeting your expectation, that means you are not going to pay attention on my words. That means you are not going to learn something new until unless you pay attention to me. Last is values. We all have different human values which actually derives our listening skills. That is something which is subconsciously sitting in our head. Friends, to become a good listener, we have to overcome all these barriers. Friends, this is very important. When you are listening and you are reacting, you are responding Me in the meantime when someone is talking, that means you are disrespecting. Everyone in this world knows something which you don't know. We have talked about how important is listening. Let's talk about how we can improve listening, how we can actually become a good listener. I'm going to talk about one rule which is going to change your life when it comes to listening. The rule is very simple. Four step process. R A S A. Rasa. Rasa is a Sanskrit word which means juice. 
Now let's talk about this juice which will make you a good listener. R is receive. You have to be ready to receive what someone is talking about. A is appreciate. Until unless you listen someone with full attention, with full focus, you cannot appreciate the knowledge which he or she is sharing with you. Next is S. S is summarize. Until unless you pay full attention, you listen, you appreciate, you will not be able to summarize. So when you are listening, make sure you are processing the information to summarize at the end what you have listened so far. And the last is ask. Until unless you listen properly, you will not be able to ask appropriate questions. So this is the rule which you have to follow to become a good listener. You receive, you appreciate, you summarize, you ask. And I can tell you friends, if you start focusing on these simple steps while you're listening to someone, you will become a very good listener. Friends, our mind is capable of speaking 250 words per minute. But when it comes to listening, it is capable of listening 500 words per minute. And that is what happens to us when we are talking, when we are listening, when we are involved in any kind of communication. We listen less words than which we can, which is making a space for 250 words. And then we start talking to ourselves while we are listening to someone else and we are talking to ourselves, our mind actually is not able to process both the things at the same time. That is why I always tell my friends, avoid doing multitasking. And when I'm saying multitasking is something when you are listening, just listen. When you are speaking, just speak. And that is how you will be able to do justice to all of your communication skills. I'm going to tell you one more magical trick which will make you a very good listener. And the trick is magical trick. What we have to do is just imagine you are holding a stick, which is a listening stick. When someone is talking, you are holding that stick and you are just paying all attention to listening. You will hold this stick till you are listening to someone. When you start speaking, make sure you are releasing that stick. That means when you are listening, you are holding a very strong responsibility of listening to someone. You are not speaking. Friends, most of the time, we listen to react, we listen to respond, and that is something which is wrong. If you start listening to learn, you will stop reacting. You have to listen, understand, and grasp, and make sure you are paying attention to each and every word. Now something very important for the students. Students who are preparing for IELTS, for TOEFL, or for any competitive exam, you also undergo one specific section, which is listening. And listening actually plays a very important role in your scores. Listening, it's very easy to understand if you are relaxed and listening all the question statements very carefully. You can answer them very nicely. And it's the easiest task or easiest section of scoring very high. Like in IELTS, you can score easily 8. How you can become a good listener? I have already talked about the tricks. You can also watch my video on communication in the iCard. I am going to post it. Also in the description, I am going to post it. You focus and try to implement those simple tricks and tips to improve your listening. And you can see that you can score even 9 in your IELTS or in TOEFL. Friends, with this, I will close this topic today and we'll meet next time soon in other topic, other learning and other fun facts. Stay tuned. If you like my work, if you like my videos, please subscribe to the channel and spread it with all your friends. Also, two students whom you know can actually get the benefit out of it. All right, friends, happy learning.